Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Depotting Without Destroying. Today we'll be opening up and depotting the Colored Rain palette. Putting some magnets underneath those um, shadows and then making it so that we can still use the palette but make the shadows removable. One step that makes this extremely crucial is that you have a glass range top stove with variable um, heating and a piece of parchment paper that you can put in between your palette and your um, heating source. So I've got this cranking along on about one to two on the heat. I'm just going to keep it going here for a couple more minutes and then we're going to take a look at and see if we can loosen up some of this glue. It looks like this is going to be an easy one folks. Some additional tools that I have found useful in depotting are these um, depotting tools that are found on Amazon. This is found at Hobby Lobby. It is a soap making kit and then a pair of really good quality nail scissors. Once the palette has been sufficiently heated up, you want to test to make sure that you can in fact get your depotting tool of choice in there and just kind of gently lift up without any resistance really or very little resistance let's just say doesn't look like it's quite ready so we'll leave this on there for just a couple more minutes and then try again once you've checked that the pans can start to begin to lift out with little to no resistance you can then go ahead and kill the heat which i have off up there now and just gently pry underneath. Now these are matte shadows so this is really a very tedious process that you got to be really careful but you can kind of feel there is still a bit of a fiber tear. Oops but we did recover the shadow quite nicely without too many issues and no cracking and that's the main that is the main um it's the main agenda here <laughs> is that we're not uh we're not cracking any of these matte shadows. So we'll continue on the process. And when we've gotten them all out, I will show you the next step. Okay, so the pans did get quite sufficiently warm. So while those are going to cool off, I'm going to go ahead and add some of my uh, magnetic adhesive backing onto the palette. And these are just magnetic adhesive sheets that I've cut out using my, um, it's a paper punch. And all that's listed and linked in the description down below. So if you guys want to buy any of this, um, supplies it's all going to be linked down below and i think i link it through amazon primarily so you can go ahead and do that but i'm just going to go ahead and add one of these to the very bottom of the well and then that way this these right here are in fact magnetic um, you can just check and just make sure you know that they are magnetic if not you would have to add the tin on the other side but these are in fact magnetic, so we can just go ahead and lay the magnetic adhesive pad underneath. And then we can um, label the backs of these if we like. And then we'll have a depotted palette without destroying. While this is still warm, I am going to add all of these magnetic adhesive backings. And that will help the magnet side stick just even that much better and really adhere down into the well. Placing this in there to ensure that it is the flattest surface possible. I'm using this tamper, um, which is also linked down below. All right. All right, and that's the last one. Thank you. 
All right, now that you've got your magnetic pads down here, you can take and place your shadow back into the well. If you want, you can always add the name on the back of the pan. If you like, uh, you don't have to. And then generally speaking, you would want to use a magnetic bar to just go ahead and take out the pan. All right. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode. I can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye.